What's going on, everybody? I'm Mike. And I'm Craig. And you're watching Two, Two Wizards, Wizards, One, one Table. table. Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about the Q Workshop Jar of Classic Dice. Uh, these came out about two years ago, 2018. Honestly, minute. let me check my notes. <laughs> Stop on camera, blah blah blah. Darth Year Q Workshop Dice came out on... June 8th, 2018. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe they were uh, originally a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Uh, you can get them elsewhere. It retailed at uh, $40. Um, we're we're going to take a quick look and show you what comes into these, and then we're going to open them. We're going to do some things. We, we got some dice. <laughs> these dice came... This, this is my collection of, ooh, I would say six to eight jars already i'm not sure um they come in an assortment of colorways the font is exclusive to this these sets although it's very similar to the fonts from the uh the runic the runic dice. sites mm -hmm. but it doesn't have the fancy accents mm -hmm. And it's not entirely the same. I thought they were a little more similar, actually. But they're but they some of the numbers are quite similar. The threes are the twos. Yeah. But they're same, same, but different, but still same. So you get, I believe it's a hundred dice. Um, and it's an assortment of these. <laughs> no full sets guaranteed. Well, one full set guaranteed. They are random. Like um, they just load these jars. You're guaranteed either the the elvish mm -hmm. white with black or the runic i think it was mm -hmm. um black with red it might be dwarven I, I don't recall what these are called i believe that that's this is dwarven yeah. so the dwarven and the elvish you can usually tell by the runes on the side uh the yeah. dwarven have like a nordic uh rune and then the elvish obviously and, and one full set of either of these is included in each of those as well that would be seven dice as well as 93 an assortment <laughs> of these this is a a design that was not available previously mm -hmm. and for i think about a year was only available through the jars of dice jars. correct then they released the that's right the others were the classic dice set these are mm. the classic runic, runic. All right, which are these sets from, in their, from in their own sets. However, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different sets available. <laughs> yes. Let's yes. Try to count. There's 15 yes. different available individually, but there are more than 15 colorways. Yeah. Um, they're not... So there are sets available in here that are not available elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And as we sort through them, you'll see there are also some premium dice, some premium colors. The uh, I believe they call this color Storm. Uh, these various colors. And these ones that I have a lot of randoms of. That's because these colors are very rare. You might find one in a jar of one of these colors. Yeah. All right, um, or two or three. I think four was the most I uh, I have found. Um, so the whole premise, what we're actually going to do today is we're going to do an opening of many of these jars. We got six, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to sort through these. We are going to time lapse it so the video isn't like two hours long or anything so like that. Is because we are. We're actually completing sets that are actually not available. So if you're kind of like us, where we want multiple sets that are not available by just purchase from the Sets yep. from Q Workshop, you can still get these 
relatively on point and collect these. There's, it is kind of one of those things, though. It's all like you're no, some, not guaranteed. Some Barnes and Nobles still have them for forty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find them online for right around that price, also. Mm -hmm. So we have spent a little bit of money for this video so that we can try and get as many sets as yeah, we can. Yeah, I want to I fill this up. It's all like, yeah, because we, we do. We want to kind of see what we can pull out of this, and we want to just go ahead and start right. digging in. So uh, you you want to do one each? Let's or do, you want to do one together? Let's, let's do one each. All right. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to time lapse what through this. Hold on, okay. hold on. Let's see something. Let's, uh, all right. You got the... Dwarf. Black and red set. So I'm gonna open one. Oh look at that. I got the Elvish. The white and black. Perfect. Works for me. So we're both gonna be going through this and we're gonna time lapse it. We'll probably stop in immediately if we find anything that is like really, really cool. Uh so that way we can show you. But yeah, this this video is just gonna be us sorting through dice. So grab and a cup of coffee, a beer, anything like that and enjoy it. Enjoy. Um meet us on the other side. We'll show you what we got. was fun to watch. Um, we, put, we put aside the duplicates in each of our jars. Mm -hmm. These, uh, not a whole hell of a lot. Um, these are the duplicates out of my jar. Mm -hmm. Mike had an uh, even smaller quantity. About, Mike had about I half, got kind of lucky on that one. Mike had about half as many as I did. Now we sorted them each in our own way. Um, but they're sorted by set, by colorway. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I got the full mm -hmm. um, Elvin set. He got the full Dwarven set. All right, and you can also see that we individually didn't get any other full sets. We got close on some of them, and it might not show up like accurately on the camera, but like the orange with the red, it's very close, but like some things that won't show up very clear is like just the pigment of the red ink is different than the pigment in this red ink. Yeah, they're, um, they're close, but they're, they're not the they're same. Two different reds. Um, some of these are a dark blue and it gets very easily muddled with the black. Like it's kind of one of those things. And what I was saying about the, um, the yeah, more, cause like, yeah, that's completely different. The more oddball, the more rare colorways. Mm -hmm. Mike got five pieces. Mine had three pieces. Mm -hmm. So, like, we got two out of the set between the two of them. So, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, don't expect a full set by any degree. Yeah, you need you need several jars before you start filling sets. Mm -hmm. um, but not entirely true because let's... Well, several. Two is several. So, yeah, yeah you, you'd likely need at least two jars. But let's see, individually, we see what we have. Mine, Mike's. Let's see what we got combined. Okay, now we've got four, six, eight, ten, percentile, twelve, twenty. So this one's a full set. Yeah, got a full set. we got one full set. Uh, so we've got these. That's not, that's not a full set. Those can go off to the side. Mike had two purple with black. I had none. These can go off to the side. Oh, look at that. Um, four. We don't have the six, eight, ten percentile, twelve. Okay, so let's see what else we got that's full or almost full.
Let's dig into some more. Yeah, so, okay, so this is what we'll do. Leave a comment down below, and we'll do a giveaway at random. Uh, whoever leaves a comment, like the video, comment, and then we will pick a winner at random, and then we will contact you personally to send out these dice. And you will get... Yeah, you'll get dice right now. No, don't, don't even know. Right here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are your dice. Winner. Bam. <laughs> Free of charge. Now, back to the speed up. <laughs> So six jars and approximately three and a third. Approximately half. Well, more than half because you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, Extras. Not much more than half, but about half are duplicates. And we got what do we got? Two, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight, two, nine, four, six, eight, 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 twelve, 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 twelve thirteen. thirteen new sets. Thirteen new sets, not including the dwarven and the elvish. Um, but we got really close with a lot of them, uh, some not so much. I'm guessing this is actually a rarity, it's because we only got one out of just, six. Just like the orange yeah, and black. Yeah, orange um, and black. The orange and black is... I'm sorry. I had opened almost this, like, more than this many jars in the past, and that's my orange and black collection. At least you didn't get a duplicate. I did. I did get a duplicate. Oh, you did. You got the, per the percentile. I did get a duplicate. But my, my point is this, for whatever reason, that, that's an extremely rare one. Mm -hmm. the, the, this orange and black. So I guess that actually plays into our Halloween die, in essence. But yeah. if you um, haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that one out. And uh, I, I actually forgot to mention, if you yourself have collected any of these and would like to work out some trades... yeah. It, you know, reach out to us on Facebook or in mm -hmm. the comments or wherever, because I have, we have lots we have tons. of duplicates, um, and I will gladly overtrade to, to complete some of my sets. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I like the hunt, I like having the, the rare, odd colors that, that aren't common. I, I yeah. really like that. And it's not... And, as far as we, we talk a lot about collectability, value, stuff, stuff like that, mm -hmm. I couldn't even speak to what the collectability or value is on this stuff because it, uh, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how many people know that this, such a wide variety exists, first of all. And that's something that we would want to say, too, is all like, what these are are very un 
common in knowledge. Mo I'd probably say 99% of the world doesn't understand what are in these jars outside right. of Q workshop. I mean, unless you've opened them up and looked at them yourself. Or even, you've collected them. Even a lot of collectors uh, don't realize what's in mm -hmm. here. Um, I know for a long time the assumption was that it was filled with an assortment of these. Yeah. Which is not the case. Mm -mm. That's what, that's why we do these things. Yeah. To, to tell you guys about this stuff. And it was fun. Yeah. And, I enjoyed open it. dice. My OCD went into overdrive, and I was just like, you. Yeah. It sure did, because mm. I wasn't sure I was going to have all six of them opened, but <laughs> it happened, so. If you enjoyed the video, give us a big fat thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, shame on you. Um, Comment below. Yeah. Comment below. Uh, is because, like we said, we are going to be doing a giveaway for the Elvish as well as the Dwarven. Um, so leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and that will basically certify you for entering for the giveaway. Uh, and then of course, like, share, subscribe, tell mm -hmm. your friends. Um, check us out on Facebook, uh, Instagram. I'm thinking about starting to doing doing some dice unboxings on on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, let us know what you all think about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and of course. We will have all those links to all our social media down below, so feel free to click on those and join us on the on all those social media. But we enjoy you guys hanging out with us, and once again, Absolutely. thank you for all your support. Um, but as always, keep, keep the, the madness, madness rolling, rolling on, on the tabletop. tabletop. Catch you guys next time.